वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड आम बैक विद यू वंस अगेन विद अनदर वीडियो ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फ्लाइट सिमिलेटर विद द सिम अपडेट फिफ्टीन ऑफ द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फ्लाइट सिमिलेटर द एनहांस वर्जन ऑफ द डिफॉल्ट एयरबस ए थ्री ट्वेंटी न्यू इज नाउ अवेलेबल बाई एनी बिल्स एंड एन फॉर दिस प्लेन आई बीन मेकिंग लॉट्स ऑफ वीडियोज दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द नाइन्थ वन एंड विच आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ यू कैन गेट द आई एफ आर क्लियरेंस और फाइल फॉर योर फ्लाइट प्लान फॉर फ्लाइट फॉलोइंग इट्स रियली ईजी द सोल्यूशन वॉज ऑलवेज देयर but um, as i'm uh, a busy guy i have a proper 9 to 5 job rather they call it a 9 to 5 job but it's always 9 to 10 in the night or 9 to 11 in the night job so i was busy with my job and uh, busy with uh, making other videos so never got a chance to actually explore this option so now it was my weekend and uh, i searched over the internet and just found a good solution for this in order to have an ifr clearance and uh, file for your flight plan first of all for this plane you have to make a flight plan over here in the microsoft flight simulator it's going to be a simple one you only have to enter the origin and the destination and that's it so uh, right now uh, what i'll do is this i'll just uh, quickly set up a file um, flight from um, dubai to qatar and that's it and what i can do is this instead of vfr i'll go for ifr so i can select the low altitude airways or the high altitude airways it doesn't make a difference and uh, then obviously uh, from dubai i will not be departing straight out i will be starting the flight from the gate because i want to start the plane from the cold and dark state so that's why i will set a gate as a departure now the flight plan is ready it was very quick so you have a flight from dubai to qatar and uh, the gate is mentioned departures right now i have selected direct and arrivals direct and approach automatic just leave it like this and then you can continue with the flight so once you uh, start the flight now you will see that this error is coming so if you don't um, make flight plan over there in the microsoft flight simulator once you start the flight you will not get this error so this is uh, something new which uh, comes if you make a flight plan over there so it says the electrical systems must be turned on in order to use the radio and speak to air traffic control so now what i'm going to do is this first of all i'll just make sure that uh, the ai radio communication is off because the moment i'll turn on the plane it will just simply and uh, plus um, i will turn on the radios it will simply ask for the ifr clearance so i'm just going to turn it off and uh, then what i'm going to do is just turn on the batteries and that's it now this is the panel for the radio control i've already done a video on my channel uh, for this um, radio panel then how to operate it Or rather let me just uh, change the view make it more comfortable like this okay So now you can see the frequency is already coming the frequency for the the wake clearance is 1 to 0 decimal 3 50 so this is already coming over here otherwise you can always move these dials to get the frequency but the moment you click it it will just appear over here you can see it's changing now um for the clearance nothing is happening i cannot see anything because right now this call button is off Uh, in order to speak i have to press this call button and uh, the moment i press this button you will see request ifr clearance it's coming it disappeared now it's coming and now you can uh, file for your flight plan and request for flight following uh but right now if i go for the ifr clearance i can hear the co-pilot or uh giving them um, uh, requesting for the clearance but i cannot hear the atc In order to hear the ATC, just simply press this button. It will just pull out, and uh, now you can even hear it. And plus, you can change the volume of it. So now, if I go for IFR clearance, Dubai clearance delivery Airbus three two zero IFR to Oscar Tango Hotel Hotel ready to copy. Airbus three two zero is cleared to Oscar Tango Hotel Hotel Airport as filed. Takeoff runway three zero left climb and maintain twelve thousand feet. Departure frequency is one two four decimal six seven five squawk two seven one seven. 
So now this is how you get the IFR clearance and you file for your flight plan and request for flight following. You can easily do this. Um, to be honest with you, in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, I hardly use the ATC communication but I, because I think it's broken. <laughs> um, it gets very confusing. It gets very, very difficult. So maybe in the future, I'm planning to also try the Beyond ATC and I might be doing videos for the Beyond ATC. Now, once you get the IFR clearance, you can acknowledge it and then you can just carry on with the flight if you're familiar with the ATC procedures for the Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I would also like to add one more uh, thing is this that once you file for the IFR clearance and uh, you get the runway, then you can make your flight plan in the sim brief and then you can import it in the electronic flight bag and then continue with the configuration of the EFB and the MCDU. Remember this thing that if you make a flight plan in the MSFS interface, you will never get the flight plan over here. So I hope uh, this was a useful video for you. And it took me a long time actually to make this video because as I've told you before, I was a bit busy and I couldn't look for a specific uh, source from where I can just get this information. But now I just uh, searched for it over the weekend and the solution is here for you guys. So it was a short video. And uh, if you want to ask me any questions, the comment section is there for you. Or if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.